affects elderly people, elderly people with heart problems and other problems. If they have other problems, that's what it really affects. That's it. You know, in some states, thousands of people, nobody young, below the age of 18, like nobody, they have a strong immune system. Who knows? You look at you. Take your hat off to the young, because they have a hell of an immune system. But it affects virtually nobody. It's, a, it's an amazing thing. Back in March, this is what the president acknowledged to Bob Woodward about young people and the virus. Now it's turning out it's not just old people, Bob, but just today and, and yesterday, some of the most startling facts came out. It's not just old, older yeah, exactly. young people, to plenty of young people. So, Will, we have so much to talk about it, uh, what went on at this event. Uh, and it Super really, spreader event. Does get, it really does get worse the more you read it, but 200,000 people dead. Donald Trump says it doesn't affect the young, uh, which again, he's still lying to people at super spreader events that are going to be looked back upon the generation from well, now. he's on stage and they're clustered together, so they spread the virus and potentially kill each other. He has no contact with them. Sorry, Joe, go on. Yeah, well, well, out the well, while they force people to wear masks behind Donald Trump, he's telling everybody clustered together. Uh, and, and we're going to show you a clip in a, in a second where the lieutenant governor's booth for asking people to wear masks. And it's boo. I mean, this is going to be looked back upon. It really is. It really is going to be looked back upon, uh, I, I think, the way that we look back at uh, the Salem witch trials, where just mass insanity takes over uh, a, a, a group of people uh, and, 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 kills and, many of them. And, and kills a lot of them. And they ignore, uh, they, they choose superstition over science. They, they, they choose uh, the enlightenment. Well, they choose basically death over life. Uh, look, at, look, at this, look at this clip. And it's, it's the Lieutenant it's Governor of Ohio, staggering. John Husted, who yeah. was booed for suggesting the audience wear masks. Remember, masks can keep you from getting the virus. Well, and Donald Trump's own government. And has, spreading has, it. has said that it's more effective, actually, than even a vaccine. Watch this. But if you go into a grocery store where you got to wear one, all right, hang on, hang on, just listen up. Just listen up. All right, I get it. But if somebody tells you to, t to take it off, you can at least say that you're trying to save the country by wearing one of President Donald Trump's masks, all right? All right. There, so, so really the stupidity, actually, uh, that is exhibited there, and I'll say it. Oh, my God. Like, the people in the crowd have heard their own president say on tape, privately, that this spreads through the air. They've heard Donald Trump's own government say repeatedly to wear a mask that it not only saves lives get this idiots that are in the audience booing wearing a mask get this it saves jobs if you don't give a damn about people's lives how about giving a damn about your job or your neighbor's job or your children's job or anybody's job like this economy, by the way, we'll talk about this later, this economy is not getting better. The, the, over the past several weeks, I've heard one business person from another throughout uh, our economic infrastructure telling me that 2021 is going to be terrible. Doesn't matter who gets elected, it's going to be terrible because this pandemic's not going away for a while. And even when we have a vaccine, that only protects 50% of us, but of course, people aren't taking the vaccine when they get it based on uh, new polling. Why? Because Donald Trump is lying about everything, but, but really... And we didn't have to be here. And we didn't have to be here, by the way. 200,000 people didn't have to die. We, we can't say today how, how many deaths Donald Trump is responsible.